So does this solar system here look confusing to you? Well, it doesn't have to be because it's pretty simple in its components. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up a very simple, basic solar system. And then we're going to compare those components with more complex systems like this one behind me. So let's have a look at it. So on the bench here, I have a very simple solar setup. So let's go through the components and then we're going to compare this system to a more advanced system. So first we need is a solar panel. Well, the solar panel is outside. We don't need to see that because we've seen that in other videos. And this is the line coming in from my solar panel, marked S for solar. So that line comes in and that comes into the solar charge controller. Now these solar charge controllers are really, really cheap. You can get these for about 20 bucks Australian online. And they work, they work well. They're okay for a simple system. So from our solar charge controller, then we are running the power up into our battery. So we need our battery as another component in our system. Now I also have a little extra component in the system and that is our monitoring device. So this here monitors our power of what comes in and what can go out. You don't need this, but it's always good to have it just so we can see what our system's doing. So that's a little extra we can put in. Now from our battery, we run our power through to our inverter, which steps our DC power up to AC power. And if we turn this on, we'll see down here, we have a fan that is producing some nice cool air, and that is running off our mains power. So that is giving us grid power. Now we've also got a little extra in here as well for some protection, is we have a fuse here that comes from the solar controller to the battery. And we also have a fuse from our battery to our inverter and that fuses are internally inside the inverter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to compare the components from this system and to a more advanced system. I want you to take note We've got a solar controller, we've got a monitoring meter, we've got a battery, and we've got an inverter. So there are the four and some fusing as well. So we've got five main components. So let's go over to my 24 volt system and let's see what we can match up. So we've got our solar panels on the roof of the cabin here coming into our solar charge controller. And then from the solar charge controller, the power comes down to our batteries. And I'll just get a torch here. You can see our batteries there. So it comes down to our batteries. And then from our batteries, it then goes up to the inverter, which turns our DC power into AC power. And from there, it goes out and powers whatever we want to power. And in this case, it powers everything here on my uh, little workbench as well as the modem. Now the power does go through an RCD, that's getting a little bit separate. We're not going to worry about that in this video. So the little extra that we've got in here as well is, yeah, well, we've got a monitoring system. So this monitors what our power is doing, and that is monitored through a shunt and displayed on a meter there. Now, we also have our fusing as well. So we've got a fuse here, which is the fuse coming from the charge controller to the battery. We've got a fuse here, which is a DC line going out as I run a separate DC line in this system as well. And we've got fusing up on our charge controller. That is the fusing from the solar panel to the charge controller. And we've also got a big breaker here in the inverter. So this is our fusing for our inverter. And there's your breakers. And if there's a failure in the inverter, then those breakers will pop and shut the power off. So we've got our solar controller, our batteries, our monitoring system, our inverter, and some fusing. Okay, so let's go outside and look at the big system that powers the cabin. So although this does look confusing, we can still break this down to our main components in our system. 
So we start with the solar panels on the roof of the cabin. Well, we know what those look like, so we don't need to see those. And then from there, the solar power comes from the panels into our solar charge controller. Now, I do run two controllers because this is a big system, but nonetheless, they are the same as that tiny system on the bench. They're just solar controllers that are bigger. And then from the solar controller, we then run down to our batteries. And then from our batteries, we run up to our inverter here, which then transforms that DC power into AC power and runs that into the cabin. So we've also in between this system, like our little system, we have monitoring devices. But in this system, we have more than one. We have a few. So we've got a shunt down here, which is monitoring the current coming through the batteries and we also have a monitoring system here which is plugged into each one of those components and that talks to all of those components where you've got the charge controllers the shunt the inverter and then through to the modem and that is what uploads all of that into the portal and i can view it through the portal or through the app so we've still got a monitoring system it's just a little bit more advanced now we've also got our fusing so we've got fusing here coming from our solar charge controller to our batteries and then we've also got fusing coming from our batteries to our inverter they're just bigger fuses now if you're wondering what looks in so what it looks like inside well let me have a look here they're the fuses that they are if i got one let's take this one out of the system here they're the fuses so they are different they are more high current take more power but they still do the same thing we've also got a few other components in the system that we have to have as regulations and that is disconnect switches for the solar panels. So if I want to turn my solar panels off and isolate the system, I can. So I shut those off. So they're not in our little system. We don't need them in the little system. But with this big system, we need those as well. So we've got to add those in. So you can see how it starts to look confusing, but it's not really that bad. Now, once our inverter has transformed our power from DC to AC and then stepped it up to 240 volts, we don't plug directly into the inverter. We then run through to a distribution panel here, which has got brackets and circuits in there. And then from there, it then comes to our output plug, which we can then plug into. And in this case, the cabin plugs into it. So there is a lot more complexity in this due to regulation as well as size and monitoring but when we look at it, our core main components we have our solar panels in the roof we have our charge controllers we have our battery we have our inverter and we can run this system with only just those but on top of that we've got obviously fusing because we do need that we also have some more complex monitoring devices, more complex switching, and more complex fusing, only due to regulations. So I tried to keep this video as simple as possible for the raw beginners into solar that look at the system here and think, how can they ever understand it? Well, hopefully this video helps you understand how simple these systems are. We've just got a few extra little components, and I meant, forgot to mention this, this green inverter down here, this is a backup inverter in case this main inverter fails because I'm off grid and if I have an inverter failure, well, I'm not going to have any power. So I do have a secondary backup inverter, but it's still one of the main core components of your system. I'm just running two inverters instead of one. Kind of like I'm running two controllers or two solar car charge controllers instead of one. But the system is basically the same is all of the other systems. Ow! That's going into bloopers.